my dear students, welcome to the class again. So I'm going to entering my class. So I think all of you already check out with your books and copies. And please, please be concentrate in the class each and every one. So here is the class. So what you can see the pictures actually. And you need to tell me or you need to actually imagine that, that what I'm going to read today, what I am supposed to read today. And here you can see three pictures. There is a boat, there is people build their houses on trees and scarcity of food. Okay, so why do people live on trees or boat? Why? Why? Because there is a no place for living nowadays. And our second question is, what is the reason behind the scarcity of food? Because our production is not okay. So what we want, we don't have the delivery of food. Actually, this is the main reason behind this. So now, can you guess which chapter I am going to read? Yes, it's from Unit 4, Lesson 3, Our Food and Shelter. Is it? Okay, check it out. Yes, and it is. So here, you can see what is our learning outcomes, what we will read from the lesson. So after reading the lesson, tell the reason why do people live on a boat or a tree? So why? What is the reason behind this? Why we, we will live there? And write about the reason behind our food problem. So we will discuss why we don't have enough food for living. Okay? And tell the reason why do people cut trees and effect of deforestation. So here you can find a very important paragraph that is on deforestation. Okay. So now, so the word scarcity. So what is the meaning of scarcity? Scarcity means shortage, lack, insufficiency. So here you can see a picture, a little boy. So he is suffering from what type of problem? Can you guess? Yes, he is suffering from food problem. He don't have enough food to eat. That's why he is crying. We can find this type of boys or children in our country as well, in the street, in the slum, and whenever. Um, actually, at your home, uh, the servant uh, who is working, sometimes her baby is also suffering from this type of problems. You can identify. So we can say that shortage of food, shortage of food, okay. So my dear students, uh, now we will learn from the picture, okay, that is related to our lesson three. So here you can see a graph. Actually our lesson is about the food problems. So you can see in the graph that, so first we need to read what written over there. The rate of increase in food production cannot keep pace with the rate of population growth. This is because our land is fixed. We cannot increase it while our population is increasing rapidly. So through the graph you can find out what is our population and what is our food supply. So what is the amount? This is very contradictory, we know that. So through the picture we can get an idea actually. So our next picture. Oh my God, this is the picture from Dhaka city. Families are growing larger in size and breaking into smaller families. Each such family needs a separate house to live in. Also the arable fields are being divided by these smaller families among themselves. So this is the picture from Dhaka city. Here we live in with our parents, but our grandparents live in village. So our family is divided there. So one family we divided into two families. So we need two types of land for providing our food actually. That's why this line is said that also the arable fields are being divided by these smaller families among themselves. Mane, food problem scarcity and this is the picture of mills and factories okay 
Mills and factories are being set up, which occupy a considerable portion of our land. So when we need more land to grow more food, to feed more mouths, our land is shrinking day by day. Because mill and factories already, they occupy some lands from our country because they are taking a huge place in Bangladesh. So we don't have enough place for product our food. Okay, we don't have proper production. So what people will do? So people live like this way. Some people are living on the board and some people are living on the tree. One day will come actually. If our population grows at the present rate, a day will come when many people will not find any land to build a house on. And as a result, many of them might live on trees or the floating boards in the river. They will live on tree or in boat, okay, floating boat. And trees are being cut, hills are being cleared and water bodies are being filled up all to meet the needs of too many people. So there is a lots of people in our country, so there is a no place to live. So what we are doing, we are cutting down the trees for leaves to make a proper house. And things were not like these in the past. The village was so beautiful. So this is the picture, a village. This is the picture from a village. The green paddy fields and yellow mustard fields seems to be unending. So you can see the picture is very nice and this is the real picture of a village. Uh, they used to wave and dance in the breeze. There used to be a wood in the northern side of the village. And there was a tall tamarind tree in the middle of the wood, tamarind tree, tetul guts, also a big banyan tree, so bod guts, okay looked like a huge green umbrella with its aerial roots hanging down. I often used to go there with my age mates. We would often having, have picnic there. But now look, the wood is gone. The beauty of the crop fields is spoiled by the unplanned houses built here and there. So there is no plantation. People, people build their house by their own wish. So there is no plan. This is the main and common picture of Bangladesh right now. So our next picture or next word is about increasing. Increasing means growing. That means aste aste upure jawa. From this picture you can see a little arrow that is going on in the bigger size. So you can see what is the meaning of increasing. Choto theke boro, mana aste aste bere utha. So the word meanings are growing slowing and cumulative. So if you don't know the other words, you can write it in your copy. So I think everyone is writing in their copy. And next is rapidly. So through the picture, what we can find? So the train is going very fast. That means very rapid, very quickly, very speedy mood, we can say. So we have a lots of experience through this word. Whenever someone is walking, we can say walking very fast, running very fast, cycling very fast. This type of example we can add, okay? And next picture, what we can see, separate, separate means division. Okay, here you can find out the word meaning distinct, detached, isolated, means bhag hoye jawa, chhe? And next, next one is Occupy. Occupy means position, to set yourself in one position, right? And the meaning is inhabit, lost, and live in. Ekhane, the peoples, those who are working, they occupy a place, they set up themselves in a place, okay? And next wor word, considerable and significant, large, extensive, means that is fixed for you, okay? Or fixed for me. That means considerable, very important, okay? And next one is very known to all of you. You can find out this type of picture in village whenever you go. And what is it called? Mustard. The Bengali meaning of mustard is shorisha. And from this type of flower, we made this type of oil. That is shorisha tail, okay? This type of word we will get in our lesson. And what is this? 
Tamarind. What is the Bengali meaning of tamarind? It is tetul. Okay. So this is the another word. Please uh, mark it in your book. Aerial. Aerial means bidar, airborne, floating. That means uh, here you can uh, see a picture. To, uh, through the picture, it, it can understand that what is the meaning of aerial. That means some, uh, something is not in accurate position. It is actually in landscape. Okay, that means the word meaning is meteor, airborne, or floating. That is not fixed actually. And the last one, swing, streak, blow, smug. In Bangla, amra ita ki boli dolna. Ita ki English ki bolle swing. Okay, that hanging with the tree. Okay, lesson three, our food and shelter from your book. It's page number forty-eight. C number passage, the class comes up with different problems. One group leader says the scarcity of food will be a serious problem in the years ahead. It is true that our agriculturists have developed new varieties of rice and its per acre production has definitely increased. But the rate of increase in food production cannot keep pace with the rate of population growth. This is because our land is fixed. We cannot increase it while our population is increasing rapidly. So here the words you need to underline is scarcity, occur, agriculturist, increasing and rapidly, which we already come to know that what is the meaning of the words. Another group leader comes up with the housing problems in the country, which he says adds much to the food problem. He says, Families are growing larger in size and at the same time breaking into smaller families. Each smaller family needs a separate house to live in. Also the arable fields are being divided by these smaller families among themselves. Mills and factories are being set up which occupy a considerable portion of our land. So well, we need more land to grow more food to feed more mouths. Our land is shrinking day by day. If our population grows at the present rate, a day will come when many people will not find any land to build a house on. And as a result, many of them might live on trees or on the floating boards in the rivers. What I showed already. No way, another student argues, trees are being cut, hills are being cleared and water bodies are being filled up, all to meet the needs of too many people. Thank you students. Ms. Choudhury says, you are quite right. Let me tell you about the village where I was born and brought up. Things were not like this in the past. I remember as a child, the village was so beautiful, the green paddy fields and yellow mustards fields seem to be unending. They used to wave and dance in the breeze. There used to be a wood in the northern side of the village. There was a tall tamarind tree in the village of the wood. Also there was a big banyan tree which looked like a huge green umbrella with its aerial roots hanging down. I often used to go there with my friends. We would often have picnic there. While the boys would climb the tamarind tree and pick some tamarinds, I and my best friend Rima used to swing from the hanging roots. But now look, the wood is gone. The beauty of the crop fields is spoiled by the unplanned houses built here and there. So here is some multiple choice you need to mark. The rate of increase in food production cannot keep pace with the rate of population growth. The sentence means that the food production is less than what is needed. How can our, our housing problems add to our food problem? For making too many houses, people are using the cropland. What makes our land shrink day by day? Mentioned in line number 13. Houses and factories are being built on it. Four number. Many people may have to live on trees because they may not find land to make houses. People are cutting trees to grow crops or make houses. So after reading the lesson, what we learn our food problems, basically the important problems. And one important paragraph from the passage is we don't need to cut our trees from Bangladesh. So the important paragraph is deforestation. You can write in your 
copy that can be considered you as your homework because whenever your school is open you can also drop it to your teacher as a homework. So what we learn already the problems the scarcity and different types of hard words from the uh, from the lesson. So I think all of you follow the instruction and read it very carefully at home. So see you in the next class. Thank you. Thank you.